Good morning, it's James here, Managing Director of Edel. It's a few months now since we uh, did a tour of the factory, so we're just going to give you a quick update on, on what's going on at the moment. So we're starting off here in our machine shop, um, where we have a large Mazak mill that is machining um, all the side plates for our machines. So we're starting off with cast aluminium tool plate blanks cut to size. And they're then being loaded onto this large CNC mill where we're obviously putting the holes, profiles, etc. into the plates. When they come off the machine, they look something like this. And then from here they will be sent off to be anodized. So all the Edel machines, the side plates are not painted, they're all anodized. So they keep cleaner and look new for much longer. Since we last talked, we're now up and running with our new Akuma CNC mill. And we've just started production of our own idler rollers. This one is just having its finishing skim with a new diamond tip tool. So this is all going well. Take you through to the sub-assembly area. So on this side of the factory, the right-hand side, we're sub making or putting together sub-assemblies for the machines. Um, See, well actually here they've got some quite complete assemblies so we've got two two easy mounts nearing nearing completion that's our own uh, video plate mounting system and then normally sub assemblies get brought across into this area where the final assemblies or the modules are put together so we've got Dave working hard here on a FL3 unwind module. <laughs> Sorry about that. So FL3 FL unwind, rewind, and the print station. So we'll just take you through. Our nice uh, presses for the idler rollers. Nuts and bolts and little tools here. And then into this area is where we're assembling the Digicons. So we have two Digicons in, well, in assembly. One that is, um, I'd say, half built. So this is a uh, Digicon 3000, 760 millimeter wide finishing machine for digitally printed packaging. Uh, this particular machine is destined for the United States. Um, and it is an E-beam coating machine. So E-beam coating module there. The E-beam unit will be mounted in the middle. And then we have a second Flexo print station that will be for a water-based varnish that can be printed onto the front or back side of the web. Moving down a little bit further, we have Another Digicon 3000, in fact, this is quite a beast of a machine. Um, so this one is destined for Europe. It's probably one of the biggest 3000s that we've built. Um, this one's actually for pressure sensitive labels. But you see here we have a unwind module, semi-rotary flexo, a cold foil module, a second semi-rotary flexo, a UV lamination module, third UV flexo station. We then have a semi-rotary die cut station with automatic plate load and unload, waste stripping, and finally a dual rewind with automatic setting slitting. So, 
quite a big machine. So I'll just walk you through. You know, we've had a record year on Digicon 3000s. It's um, kept the factory incredibly busy. Um, there are a number more of these to be laid down over the coming months as well. So we're going to Unit 1, which is largely occupied with uh, carton presses at the moment. Um, the first one I can show you here is, um, is a 700, no it's not 700, <laughs> it's a 650 millimeter wide 9 color FL5 carton press. This is just undergoing test. Uh, interestingly, this one is equipped with the new GW Leo LED interchangeable LED and arc UV drying system. We have nine flexo stations, old foil unit up there. last two stations on this machine have extended hot air drying for putting down water-based coatings. Come through to the end here. We have a slitting module, camera inspection, and somewhere in here we also have our Easy Reg autonomous register camera as well. This machine is, is connected in line to a FDC flatbed die cutting unit. So this complete line will print, cut, grease, waste strip, all in a single pass. have another flatbed die cutter coming together behind me. Gosh, I'm running out of space here. So we'll just whiz down back along this machine. So this machine here is destined for Europe as well. another 650mm wide carton press coming together. Not quite as complete as the last one. Uh, this is actually only a four colour. Um, four colour with UV LED as well as it will be equipped with hot air drying as well. And this machine will actually just be roll to roll and this customer has a FTC as well, but they're going to be running the FTC offline. And then down this bay we have coming nearing completion, we have a, an FL3. Um, and this is actually a hybrid label press, so I'm starting at the wrong end, but um, you can see here it's uh, starting with an unwind, two flexo units. We have a preconditioning infeed feeding into a Domino N610 outfeed, post digital flexo, cold foil, easy die, quick change die cut system conventional full rotary die, auto set shear slitting and then we have our VLS variable length sheeting system which will eventually go into a, a delivery table and also a jewelry winder. So that's the machine that will be hopefully ready at the, the end of the month. And what else I can give you a quick sneak peek of our new demonstration area. So in here we have an FL5 8 colour 510mm wide running in line with 
our FTC flatbed die cutter. So this machine is all now set up for, for demonstration. inviting people to, to witness these demonstrations, uh, whether in person or we can run those virtually as well. So post-Covid we've um, had quite a reorganisation of the factory, but we've set up a new kitchen canteen area and games room eventually. So we hope in the next few weeks this will be all set up and finished. Again, post-Covid we've undertaken quite a bit of construction, so we've built up a new production office, obviously with the intention of trying to space out staff. So we've now moved our production and procurement office downstairs, so they've got a nice new space there. Also created a new sales and marketing suite, um, which is very much still under construction. And you can see in here, there's just still building up the furniture. The marketing team. Say hello, marketing. <laughs> A new office there, reception, and then we just head upstairs to the main engineering office, which is now being located in what was our single main office. So we've separated one big single office into multiple offices to keep people as safe and spaced out as possible. So our main office now is built up of six pods of desks. The engineering team nicely spaced out. 